After I've released my latest Heroes of Bronze teaser, a lot of you asked me about my materials and the shading workflow that I use inside Blender. Well, here goes the simple answer. It's actually pretty basic, with just a few notes combined in the shader editor and some grease pencil work on top. And in today's tutorial, I'll show you exactly how I go about it. By the way, if you haven't seen the latest teaser yet, definitely go to the link in the description. And once you do, please share, like and comment under the video, because that's the way the project gets seen by more people. Now in my scene here, I have a simple Corinthian helmet, with no shading whatsoever, with just a basic grey world environment. And I'll add a single sun lamp, because without it, our stylized materials won't work. Also an important note, so far this only works in EV render, so no cycle support yet. Let's add a material here and then get rid of the default principled BSDF. Instead, the key element you'll need is the shader to RGB node. This little node takes your regular shading information, which we can source from a simple diffuse shader, and it converts it into flat color data. It doesn't work yet, but you can now plug in a color ramp to control how your light and shadows are mapped, and simply choose your tones from dark to bright, and after that, if you want that sharp graphic look, switch the ramp to constant mode to get clean hard edges between the tones. And you can even add colors to these, in my case some shades of orange bronze will do. And that's basically it. This is the basis I use for most of the materials on my animated objects, from hair to skin, shields and clothes. For some models I like to use multiple materials on one mesh, so for example let me add a red one on the inside of the helmet where the padding would be. Just hover over this area here and hit L, and since I have the whole inside on a separate UV region, I can just open up this menu and filter my selection only to UV areas. And now assign it. What you can do to make this a little richer is to add a layer of manual texture painting. For example, if you want some black smudges on the surface of your object, you can simply go in, create an image texture node in the shader editor, and click on this new and then uh, you can name it whatever you want for example scratches and give it 4k resolution for maximum detail this of course depends on how powerful your machine is you can of course go lower and watch out for this to work properly your model needs some nicely laid out uvs plug this texture into the surface socket here and in texture paint mode you can just grab one of these brushes and start painting if you now in this image editor window activate the scratches texture, you'll be able to see how it's being painted on. So let me add a few more. And you can also grab this brush to erase portions of your strokes. And now let's plug back our NPR shader network and add one more node, this mix color one. Plug the painted texture into the factor and make the B color whatever you want, for example this dark brown. And voila, that's how you can paint on the surface of your model directly in Blender. What I also sometimes do, if I already have a texture made for my model, is to bring this texture in and mix it over my NPR network using this overlay. And finally, I have this handy blood and dirt template pre-made for my projects, which I simply put at the end of my shader network and place these surface details however I want. You can get this shader group from my Patreon, so if you want to support the project, consider subscribing there, I have a huge library of exclusive assets and tutorials there. The final and often most important layer of detail on my stylized assets is using the grease pencil. For some basics you can watch my introductory videos, links are again in the description, but here's a way how I usually use this tool for my models, by drawing on the surface. I just add a blank grease pencil object, I like to place it where my model is and then parent it to it. With that switch to draw mode and immediately from this menu here choose the surface mode of drawing. Choose one of the brushes, I like to use this one here, and then simply draw your lines, using F to change the diameter of the brush or Shift F to adjust the opacity. I usually like to go wild on this step, highlighting edges, painting cloth seams, 
You can even draw more scratches instead of using the previous texture layer. In the end, something like this can come out of this workflow. And if you want to watch extended step-by-step -step tutorials, again, you can find them at my Patreon. Big thanks to all of you who support me there. Really, you make this YouTube channel possible by your donations. So yeah, I do appreciate it. So I hope this was useful and until next time, stay creative my friends, Martin out.